a communist revolutionary group has staged a protest outside a Jason Aldean concert in Chicago, and caused controversy by burning American flags. Around 20 members of the Revolution Club Chicago gathered outside Credit Union 1 Amphitheater in Tinley Park, where they burned and stomped on American flags while chanting anti-US slogans. The disturbing scene was captured on video and shared by News to Share, according to the New York Post. The protesters shouted phrases like fuck the US and all its might while torching the flags. The group not only took issue with the American flag, but they also criticized Aldean's song Try That in a small town, labeling it a piece of fascist s. For all the latest on news, politics, sports, and showbiz from the USA, go to Daily Express US. Tom Jones tickets out today, here's where to get tickets to Star's final tour activist Rafael Caderas, who flew from California to join the protest, boldly declared, guess what, Jason? We will try that in a small town. We will try that in a big city and we will try it right in front of your concert," he told the Chicago Tribune. The group's actions quickly drew the attention of law enforcement, who declared the protest an unlawful assembly, citing the disturbance it caused to concertgoers. Don't miss! Abba's Ognieta Feltskog's first single in 10 years is a little underwhelming, latest, Selena Gomez slams claims new song is about ex-boyfriend The Weeknd, song, The Beatles, Ringo Starr releases single ahead of new song with Paul McCartney, new, despite the heated atmosphere, the protesters did not engage in altercations with Aldean's fans, and the concert proceeded as scheduled, with no reported arrests. The group's protest was also aimed at showing support for the Revolutionary Communist Party Revcom, and its goal of creating a Marxist revolution in America. Leo Pargo, a leader of the Revolution Club Chicago, defended their actions as an exercise of free speech, asserting that the American people have been misled about communism. This protest occurred in the context of controversy surrounding Aldean's hit song, which featured news footage of 2020 protests and violence following the death of George Floyd. Some critics believe the song was critical of Black Lives Matter protests and riots. Aldean responded on social media, denouncing the accusations as meritless and dangerous, 